Hi, my name is Matt St. John, and I'm the sales executive here at V Technologies for Sage Interfaces for Starship and Ship Gear. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this quick video comparing Starship with Ship Gear. So just to start out, we'll talk about the supported carriers at each interface or each program, I should say. Starship does support UPS, FedEx, USPS, DHL, OnTrack. And as you can see on this chart, um, one advantage of Starship is that it does support LTL carriers. With those carriers, you do have the ability to electronically rate shop your contracted rates. So with Shipgear, uh, Shipgear is just a middleware, so it is going to actually just do UPS, FedEx, and USPS shipments. With Starship, I am processing through either Sage, if I'm using Sage 100, I'm using the Starship link where I'm in shipping data entry or I'm processing directly through the Starship software. With Shipgear, being that it is a middleware, I am going to be ship, uh, doing my shipments through my carrier shipping software. So UPS WorldShip, FedEx Ship Manager, USPS Indicia Pro, or Dazzle. Advantage of Starship is that it's going to push line item integration, so detail. With Shipgear, it will not. Shipgear is just bringing in my order header information into my carrier shipping software. Starship does work with third-party applications, so scan for scan co. So if you need a warehouse management solution, EDI solutions, True Commerce, SWK, Mapadoc, Edisoft, Redtail, and then we also integrate with ACS Multibin and JobOps. With Shipgear, um, there is no third-party integration. It's just really working with your carrier supplied shipping software. When I ship with Starship, the right back will update and create the invoice inside of Sage, and it's going to write my freight charges and tracking information into the correct tables inside of Sage. With Shipgear, it will update freight charges and tracking information, um, but if I'm using a sales order as my source document, it is only going to update and create a comment line on the sales order with the shipping information. Okay. If I do use an invoice, it will actually update the Sage 100 tracking tables. But again, that's only if my source document is an invoice. All right? And Starship automatically, regardless if I'm using an invoice, a customer, or sales order number, it is going to put all the information into Sage's tracking tables. Both software, they come with our dashboard program. Uh, really quick, dashboard is just a reporting tool for the front office. Gives them access to shipping history, shipping history information. Starship has the ability to do rate freight rules. That comes standard. With Shipgear, it is an additional module. And branded email, that is our e-notification program. Again, that's standard with Starship. Uh, Shipgear, it is an additional add-on module. Starship gives you the ability to do a late delivery report. That is a report that just goes out, compares guaranteed delivery dates to the actual delivery date. Uh, so you can contact carriers, you know, try to get refunds for your um, late delivered shipments. And on a Fortunately, that is unavailable with Shipgear. Okay. Rate shopping, as I mentioned earlier. With Starship, I have the ability to actually electronically rate shop from sales order entry inside of Sage or inside the Starship module. Shipgear does not offer that. And if I'm doing third-party parcel insurance, Starship does integrate with that. And again, Shipgear does not. Both programs allow you to modify map fields and the tra uh, translations with no additional custom development. And as I mentioned, sales order rating for Shipgear is available for Sage versions 4.5, actually all the way through through 2016 now. And Shipgear, unfortunately, does not have that option. Both softwares, Starship and Shipgear, can be purchased with FedEx Tech Awards or UPS CTP funds. Um, if you're not aware, both FedEx and UPS have these programs, what they will do is offer, give you money to purchase either Starship or Shipgear. So feel free to contact your rep and to discuss further. Thank you for taking time out of your day. That's what I have. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact myself.